welcome back to My Zone Active Kids, where we actively invest in your future. means it's a brand new theme with a brand new week but before we get into it as you can see there's a lovely familiar face right next to me hi friends my name is Sinead Dierkaart and I will be having fun with you guys and Monique <laughs> ooh, ooh. okay guys I mentioned it's a since it's a brand new week mm -hmm. it's a brand new theme so it's a brand new theme what's the theme Monique the theme is autumn, autumn. I love autumn love and hate with autumn. Why would you say that? I mean, it's before winter. That means it's, we're going to wear more comfy clothes. We can yeah, walk around in our onesies. Yes, but it's just like the wind. Is so, it just, yeah. yeah. The okay. Wind is not nice. But that's you know, every season is a brand new season in our lives as well. Oh, that's right. Yes. And today we're going to learn all about what makes autumn autumn. autumn. And I'm so excited. But before we head into things i just like to remind you guys that you can catch us every monday to friday at nine on our myzon and zashi facebook pages and we would just like to give a huge shout out to our friends at innovations for the super fun cool theme bags <laughs> and if you want to rent anything for your party or gathering make sure to send them an email at info at and now it's monday we need to sing a song what song are we singing you're my guest so you get to decide what song we're singing today. You know what I feel like singing? What? I want, okay, I, we could probably sing We Are Family, but why not? Really? Think, okay, but what <laughs> autumn, okay. <laughs> so, so what autumn song is it to sing, Monique? Okay, just any other song. It doesn't need to, be, you know, be with a theme. Can we sing Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just sing this, the chorus. But but what no, what Jenny. food do we eat? What food do we eat in autumn? So then we replace <laughs> the watermelon with something we eat in autumn. I eat salad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I eat Gatsby burgers. <laughs> Gatsby burgers. Hi. Gatsby burgers. Hi. Gatsby burgers. Hi. Gets be buggers high. Woo. Then we drink or maybe chicken it with hot chocolate. Drink it with hot chocolate. chocolate. Uh -huh. Drink it with hot Go chocolate. Go, girlfriend. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gets be Hi. Hi. <laughs> Next time, we need to practice more because. Marcel and I said this is Remix 2021. So we remixed Harry Styles' Watermelon song. Harry too. Styles, don't hate us because we love you. Yeah, we love you. And now, the most exciting <laughs> part of the show of the day is when we get to go visit Zoe and Zaki. <laughs> so let's head over to those two to hear more about Autumn. Enjoy. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi friends! I miss you guys so much. My name is Zoe and I love how in autumn we get to play in the leaves. Hi friends! My name is Zaki and I'm super excited that you guys are back. And we are niece and nephew. Yay! This week we are learning all about autumn. autumn. It's going to be the greatest week ever. Today is all about the things that makes autumn, autumn. Autumn is the season after summer and before winter. Some places call autumn fall. 
I think autumn is simply amazing because it brings us days that are not too hot or too cold. We get beautiful days with crispy air and sunshine. And we also get leaves all around that fall off the tree. We also get the colors red, yellow, orange, brown and black, which are colors that make us think about autumn. In autumn, you will notice that the leaves on the tree start to change color. Before the leaves fall to the ground, you will notice that they change red, yellow, orange and brown. Um, but Zoe, why do, why do the leaves all fall down? Is there something we can do to help them? During the fall, the days get shorter and plants don't get enough sunlight, which they need to make food. We also don't get rain in autumn, which means our plants and trees don't get enough water. But that is really sad. I bet the trees feel so sad. What if, um, what if their branches stay empty? The cool thing is the leaves grow back again, Zaki. Our trees are really smart like that, so that they make new leaves in spring. Um, but Zoe, autumn is also the perfect time to harvest crops because the season and the weather that changes. My favorite flower that you get in autumn is the sunflower. I love sunflowers. I'm walking on sunshine. Sunflowers, wow. yeah! A big thing about autumn is the wind. The wind blows all the time and sometimes super duper fast. They blow the leaves into the house. My mommy hates cleaning. I know. They, and, and, and when we do our laundry, it blows the clothes straight into the washing line. Oh, Off the washing line. And blows your hair all over the place. Then your hair goes whoosh. And when the wind blows super hard, I sometimes sneeze a lot because all the flowers pollen and the dust is in my face. But in autumn, we also get to have fun with pumpkins and carve out the coolest faces in them. And drink pumpkin flavored drinks. I think autumn is a super special time because we get to see the whole world change from one season to the next. And even when the leaves fall down, they will always grow back again. Autumn is truly magical. And now I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song about autumn now. So get ready, friends. And a one, and a two, and, and a one, two, two three. three. Autumn leaves are falling down. Red and yellow, orange and brown. Turning, turning round and round. Down, down, down. Take a rake and rake them up, rake them up, pile them high, pile them high up to the sky, yay, and jump right in. And autumn leaves are falling down, red and yellow, orange, brown, turning, turning round and round, down and down. Take a rake and rake them up, rake them up, pile them high, pile them high up to the sky. And Zeki, like what do we do? Jump in! Yay! I had so much fun learning about autumn. Now it's time for your fun fact again. Um, did you know that pumpkins are actually fruits and not oh. vegetables? They are ninety percent water. O M G! I, know, I right? love all your facts, Zoshi. Friends, you. remember that in autumn we get to celebrate the start of new leaves and new things. That is right. But um, I think we need to leave now. <gasps> no. Yes, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, friends. We'll see you again see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Wow, Zoe and Zaki are just so amazing and so cool. They're so entertaining. Yes. I can watch them all day. I really all can. All day, every day. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much about them about the season autumn. 
And since they were having fun, it's time for us to have fun, Jenny. Oh, I was having fun with them, but now we're going to show them we can have more fun. <laughs> exactly. So, what's our active activity for today? Our active activity for today is really weird. We're going to do the doggy pee pee. <laughs> So guys, the doggy pee pee is, so we're going to bend our knees a bit, bend your knees, then we're going to go to the right side. Okay friends, let's go. One, times? two, three times, three, three times. times. Okay. So let's start. One, one two, three, and one, one two, two three. three. Okay, oh, a third that time and then we lift for the doggy pee pee. Okay, okay let's go again. One, one two, two Three, yay! Last one, last one, and one, two, three. So this will work. These legs of yours, yes. you have your quadriceps, your inner thighs, and it will work all of that. I okay. love the energy. Yes. Yeah, so what are we gonna do next, Monique? Now we're gonna do squats. As you can see, we both have our own balls. I have a purple, purple ball. ball. She has a purple ball. So we're going to throw it to each other okay. and once it reaches our hands, we squat immediately. Okay, let's do this. No, you can also throw. So, oh, okay, yeah, we throw, throw it like together. So, obviously on the same time. Okay, okay. okay. One, two, two, three. three. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> we did it five times. Five times. Let me so go get fun. my ball, friends. No, no. It's, there we go. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to do sit-ups. Yes, sit-ups, my favorite. So, Monique, you're going to go down. So, Monique's going to lie down, and when she comes up, she's going to throw the ball to me. So, if you have a friend at home, you just... Yes, let's sit on our friend's feet. Don't hurt your friend, guys. Okay. Come up, Monique. Yay. And then, <laughs> so when when you're down, I throw the ball. Okay. And then when you come up, you I throw it back to back. me. Okay. okay. Sorry, you should catch. Guys, I hope you can catch better than I can. Okay. Oh, wow. I had to throw the ball to you. Jenny, okay, there's a blue but one. But that's how we do it. Okay. okay. So then let's throw it. Okay. You know, maybe when I stand, will you be able to do a setup on your own? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys are strong enough, you can come up by yourselves and throw the ball to your friend as you come up. Okay, Monique, there's the ball. There you go. So two, three, and four, <laughs> and five. So five is the lucky number, friends. That there was so much it. fun. Well, I'm just going to sit and rest. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this active activity with Jenny and mm -hmm. I. Be, you know, you can do this with your friend, your brother, sister, mother, father, everybody. Everybody. Take grandma <laughs> as well, guys. <laughs> to stay fit and keep active. And now we're heading over to week eight, lesson one for our pre-primary learners. So enjoy. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome 
to my zone online school my name is teacher mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my family and before we get into any lessons boys and girls it's important for us to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be talking about squares For our first lesson today, boys and girls, let us turn to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be doing the square. Everyone, let's say square. 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 Well done! Good job! So, I am going to tell you what makes the square a very special shape. So, let's take a look at the flashcard. Now, the square makes a special shape because it has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. Let's count them again together. One, two, three, four. So the square has four sides. The square also has four corners. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. So it has four equal sides and four corners. So the square can be turned round and round and round and round and it will still be the same size but a square can also be a small square or a big square so we can actually make our serviette into a small square it will still have the same equal size if we turn them the same four corners as well and if we want a big square it will still have its same equal sides and same four corners for our first exercise we need to trace the square so I want us to do it together I would like you to please take your pencil or your color and we're going to do it together I'm going to do it on the board and you are going to do it in your booklet. So the first thing we need to do is start at the corner because we want to make a square like this. So we're going to start at the corner, put your pencil by the corner, and there are two rules you need to remember when tracing. The first one is that you must catch each and every trace line or dot. It's very important that you make sure that every single trace line or dot is caught by your pencil or your color. The next one that you need to remember is to slow down. Take your time so that when you are done, it is a beautiful, beautiful square. If you rush, the chances are that it won't look very nice. So I want you to take your time. So remember, make sure that you catch all the dots or all the lines. And number two, make sure that you take your time so that it can be neat. Right, are we ready? Let's go. So we're going to start in one corner and we're going to go across. Can you see how slow I am going? 
I hope you are also going as slow. Take your time and make sure each and every trace line is caught. The next way I'm going to go is down. So I'm going to turn my pencil a little bit and come down. You can see that I'm trying very hard to be in the same line as my tracing line. Then when I get to the corner, the next one I'm going to do is a cross. This one's difficult because sometimes I can't see the line. So let's try and keep our hand in the same position, moving across. Good job, my friends. Then we are now at the last corner. I hope you are also there too. What we are now going to do is go up. So we're going to go up, catching each and every trace dot, making sure no one is left behind. Take your time, you don't have to rush, and keep your hand straight and your pencil pressing down. And ta-da! I have a beautiful square! And I hope you also have a beautiful square. Now that we are done with tracing our square, let us go to the next page on page 18. On page 18, it is now going to be a little bit tricky because we have other shapes joining us. But it is asking you to only color the squares using a yellow color. So, I want you to please use only yellow for your squares. This is a yellow color, the one that I have in my hand. So, use a yellow color to color all your squares. And remember, when you are coloring, you color either going across, which means side to side, or up and down. We don't color going all over the place, no. So it's either up and down coloring or side to side. Take your time, boys and girls. Color inside your square lines and I will see you soon when you are done after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 7 different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you don't understand, you can always ask for help. Now that we are done with our lesson, it is very important for us to sanitize. So, let us take our sanitizer and sing our special song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone but i wonder i haven't seen my best friend today sashi are you here Zashi, ah, <laughs> there you are, Zashi. So, from Zashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>
Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. What an amazing lesson with teacher Nutsa. Pre-primary learners, I know you guys enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Now we're heading over to our grade ones. So get ready for week eight, lesson one. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade 3. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello Grade 1s and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Autumn and Revision. And before we get into a lesson, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. So, remember how do we sanitize? Well, we take a little bit of sanitizer, we put it in our hand, and we rub inside, around, very good, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and on our fingertips. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading, the number eight and syllables. This activity today, let us take a look at page 17. On page 17, we are going to be doing revision. Now, revision means that we are looking back at what we did and all the words for our vocabulary we have done before. So we are going to take a look and read them out loud. The first one, and I want you to repeat after me, is mother, mother, father, father, brother, brother, sister, Sister, baby, baby, grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather. Well done! Now, as you can see from our picture, we have all those people right there. I want you to practice now by pointing and reading to the person that we are talking about. Are you ready? Let's try again. Mother, mother, father, father, brother, brother, 
sister, sister, baby, baby, grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather. Well done! Good job, everyone! Now we have other words that we were talking about before. These words, we also know them. So let us repeat after me. Food Clothes Birthday Celebration Let's repeat them again. Food Food, clothes, clothes, birthday, birthday, celebration, celebration. Well done. Let's read the next set of words. Blow, blow. Run, run, straw, straw, huff, huff, build, build. Good job, everyone. And the last words are, repeat after me, sun. Sun, wind, wind, cold, cold, warm, warm, weather, weather. Good job! So, it is going to be your job to read these words. Practice, practice, practice so that you improve your English every day. I'm going to leave you to try and do them by yourself and remember, if you have forgotten a word, it's okay to ask for help. Take your time and I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 7 different languages. For our exercise now, let's turn to page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing lots and lots of activities for the number 8. Everyone, let's say 8. 8. Good job, everyone. Now, the number 8, as you can see, needs to be traced. So I'd like you first to try with your finger and then after you're done with your finger, you can use a pencil to trace. Then after that, I'd like you to please try with me on the board. Now I have the number 8 on the board and as you can see, I'm going to take my finger and try and trace. We start by going towards the left and we go round, looping down, coming back up to where we started. Did you see that? Let's try again. We go round, take your time, going across and down, going up, across, and back to where we started. 
Now the number eight is very fun to draw. So I want you to continue trying by yourself in the air and when you think you are ready, you can do it on the board. So we are going to start at the top and we go round, round, down and we go down, coming back up and we are back where we started. We're going to try again. So we're going to start again in the middle and we're going to go round, down, back, round, up and right back where we started. And that is the number eight. You are also going to trace the name of the number, which is eight. We start here, go across, round and down. That is the first letter. The next one is very easy. Down and a dot. Then we say round, up and down. Make sure that you catch all the trace lines so that when you trace, it will be neat and correct. Let me continue. Down, up and round. And then the last letter has a flick. Down, flick and a cross. And that is the word eight. There are many, many other things though, boys and girls, that we can actually see when we say the word eight. I have a special picture I want to show you and I want you to tell me what that animal is. Now, what do you think this animal is? Hmm, it has a big head and it looks like it's got eight legs. Let's try and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what do we call this animal, boys and girls? Yes, it is an octopus. Everyone, let's say octopus. Octopus. Let's greet Mr. Octopus. Hello, Mr. Octopus. He looks very happy to see us. <laughs> so that animal has eight on it. And just like your exercise, you are going to practice not just drawing the number eight, but identifying things or images with the number eight. So you're going to start at the top where you color eight ants. And then you're going to color or rather circle the image that has eight plants. Then don't forget to write the number eight for the missing number line and also tracing the numbers so that they can be complete. Take your time, have fun, and I'll see you just now after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. The last exercise that we're going to do today, boys and girls, is going to be on page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing syllables and this is when we read the words and we break them down according to how we hear them. So the first one is going to be the first picture that we see. You can see that we have one, two, three flowers. It is going to be your job to color the flower that shows the right number of syllables. Now to get our syllables, we are going to clap, to be clapping. Now each time we clap, 
we are going to say the word and we're going to break it down th from how we are clapping. Let's take a look at the first picture. We have a picture of a ladybug. So now we need to know how many syllables we are going to be using. So let's take our time and let's say the word ladybug. Ladybug. Good job. Now let's break the word into syllables. Ladybug. Let's try again. I want you to clap your hands with me this time. Ladybug. Good job. One more time. Ladybug. It sounds like we have three syllables because we are saying Lady bug and that is three so you are going to color the third flower let's do the one where we can see a can and there's some drops coming out of it that word there is the word water everyone let's say water water now let's try and clap it. Are you ready? Let's go. Water. Water. Let's try again. Water. Water. Good job everyone. So how many syllables do you think there are in the word water? Remember we are saying water. If you said that there are two syllables, good job! Well done! So you are going to color the second flower. Now the last one, you are going to figure out by yourselves because I'm not going to help you anymore. I think you are clever boys and girls. So remember, when you're doing your syllables, you can clap them so that you can understand how many they are. If you need help, you can make it a game with someone at home or your friends. So take your time, make sure you color the beautiful flower and the correct one too. And I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you don't know, you can always ask. So now that we are done with our lesson, it's time to sanitize. And this time we can sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone i wonder though i haven't seen sashi the whole day he said he was gonna pay me a visit where is my special friend Oh, there you are. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today. And goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. 
Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Wow, Jenny, didn't you enjoy that? I always enjoy all the lessons with teacher Mutsa. Oh, same, same. But now we're heading over to grade two. So grade two learners, get ready for week eight, lesson one. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade 3. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is customs and building materials and before we get into any lessons boys and girls it's very important for us to sanitize remember when you are sanitizing we are showing the world that we are receiving responsible and that we care about staying safe all the time. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading and verbs. Well, first exercise boys and girls, let's turn to page 17. On page 17, we have our story and our story is talking about the building materials. In fact, the story you know very well. It is the three little pigs. Now, our job is going to be to draw lines to match the picture with the story. So, first, we need to take a look at the pictures. The first picture that you're going to see is the picture of the wolf speaking to the first pig. Now I'm not sure what the pig is saying there, but we can see that we have our wolf and one pig. The next one that we can see from the pictures is the one of the wolf going down the chimney. So the wolf going down the chimney you can see that what type of house that he's going down. Can you see the material that was used? Mm, that is the clue I'm giving you. <laughs> and then the next picture that we can see is the one of the wolf blowing and huffing and puffing. And we have another pig. And this time we have a house made up of a different material. The next picture that we can see is the one where the wolf is still huffing and puffing and we have another little pig with a different type of house built with a different type of material. And then the last picture that we can see is of one little pig 
still building his house with a special kind of material. So now that we have seen our pictures, I want you to take a good look at them as we read the story. So we are going to start. The first one says, the pig built his house out of bricks. The wolf could not blow it down and got angry. Which picture matches the story? Let me read the story again. The pig built his house out of bricks. The wolf could not blow it down and got angry. I'd like you to please draw a line from the box with the story to the correct picture. The second box says, the pig built his house out of straw and the wolf blew it down. Let me read it again. The pig built his house out of straw and the wolf blew it down. Which picture matches what we have just read? I would like you to please draw a line to that picture. The third box says, let's read it together. The wolf tried to trick the little pig. Let's read it again. The wolf tried to trick the little pig. Which picture matches the story? I'd like you to draw a line. The next one says, the pig built his house out of sticks and the wolf blew it down. Let me read it again. The pig built his house out of sticks and the wolf blew it down. So which picture matches that part of the story? I'd like you to please draw a line to the part of the story, to from the block to the picture. And then the last one says, the wolf built the wolf climbed down the chimney. He fell into the pot on the fire. Let me read it again. The wolf climbed down the chimney. He fell into the pot on the fire. So which picture shows what we have just read? I'd like you to please draw your last line to that picture. Now just to be sure, I'd like you to please read the story by yourselves. Then when you are done reading your story, check that you have matched the correct box to the correct picture. When you are done with that, I'd like you to please join me on the next page, page 18. On page 18, we have a story of Sam and Dad. Now this story is very simple, boys and girls, and I'd like you to try and read it by yourselves. Please read it three times. Remember, the first time when we read the story is to understand what it is all about. The second time when we read the story is to try and find our answers for the questions that have been asked. And then the third time when we read the story is to check that our answers are correct. For number one, two and three, the questions, I would like you to circle the answers. And then number four and five, you are going to fill in the correct answer. Remember to go back to the story to try and find your answers and double check by reading it a third time. You can also use the picture to try and help you understand the story as well. Please take your time and I will see you when you are done after the advent break.
Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our last exercise for today, boys and girls, let's turn to page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing decomposing. Now, decomposing is very fun because what it means is that we are breaking down numbers. So, in order for us to decompose, we need to know what a tens looks like and what a unit looks like. That way, we'll be able to decompose our numbers beautifully. Now, remember, the number in front, when it is a two-digit number, is representing the tens. And then the number behind it would be the units. If you take a look at our example, we have 23 equals 20 plus 3. The number 23 has been decomposed into two numbers. The first one being 20, and our 20 comes from it being a tens. Then our next number is the 3, and our 3 comes from it being units. So if we add our tens with our units, we get our answer. But if we do it in reverse, that means we are breaking it down. So let us try and break them down or to decompose them together. Let's take a look at the board. Now remember I said that first we have the tens being added with the units. And that's how we get our answers here. So instead of putting them together and adding, we are going to be decomposing. So the first thing we need to do is identify our 10, just like they did in the example. We are going to do the one that says 96. So we first look for our 10s, which is 9. But remember, 10s are also in the decade numbers. So we put our... We put our 9 and then we put our 0. Let me make our 9 very clear so you can see it. So we have dealt with our 10s. Our 10s in this case is 90 plus our unit. So we have put our 90 which means we still need to put our unit. And in this case our unit is 6. So we have now completed our decomposing. We have broken down 96. Now the trick about decomposing, boys and girls, is also the way you say it. If you say 96, it's the same as saying 96. So the same way you say it is the same way you write it. But you can also use your tens and units. The next one says 74. So I'm going to first start with our tens. And our tens is 70. So we're going to write our 70. And then our unit becomes 4. And we have decomposed or broken down the number 74. Even when we say it, we can hear that we can break it down. 74. So I'm going to leave you to do the rest by yourself. And then below it, we have some other sums. So let's take a look at those. This time, instead of decomposing, we are doing place value. Now the place value we are speaking about is the one on whether it is a tenth or a unit that has been underlined. 
Now our key trick here is to know what is underlined and where it is sitting under. So let us take a look at the board. Now remember we said that our tens always comes in front of units. So our tens is sitting in front of the unit. So we have our tens here and then we have our unit. And then after putting our 10, T for 10, and then U for unit, we check which digit is underlined. In this case, the digit that has been underlined is 8 in the number 48. So if you check closely, 8 is sitting under units, which makes our underlined digit a unit. So we are going to write unit and then units with an S please my dears and then we can move on to the next one. The next one below has the number 55. So before we do anything we are going to write our T first on top for tens and then we write our U for units. After that, we check 55 and then we look at the digit that has been underlined. In this case, it is the first 5 that has been underlined. And if you check nicely, it is sitting under 10s, which means the value, the place value of our underlined digit is 10s. So we are going to write the word 10s. Let's now move on to the next one. The next number that we have is 77. And before we start anything, boys and girls, we need to first put a T on top of the first digit and then a U on top of the second digit. After that, we take a look at our 77 and then we try and find the underlined digit. In this case, the underlined digit is the second 7. So, that means that the place value of our underlined digit is units because this digit, 7, is sitting under units. So, we are going to write units. So far, I'm sure you're doing very well and I want you to pay attention as well. Now the last one that we're going to do together, we first put our tens on top of the first digit and then we put our unit U on top of the second digit. So our number says 38. In order for us to find the underlined digit, we take a look at 38, then we check the one that is underlined and then we check what is sitting, what it is sitting under. Then after that, we can say the place value for 3 in 38 is tens. So we are going to write our tens. Then when you are done with your exercise, you need to check by saying what the underlying digit is. For example, the first one says the underlined digit is units for the number 48. And I want you to check as you go. Make sure you put your tens and units on top of the digits so that you can help yourself when you are calculating. And remember, take your time, please. I will see you soon after our advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls. I had so much fun with you. And remember, if you don't know or you're not sure, it's okay to ask for help. Make sure you finish your exercises by yourself and check that your answers are correct before your teacher or the adult that is with you marks. 
Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and rub your hands nicely. Very good. Remember to rub inside around your hands, in between your fingers and on your wrists. I think someone has been coming in and out of the classroom. I'm not sure where he is right now. Zashi, where are you? Oh, <laughs> hello Zashi. How are you today? Are you okay? That's good to know. So, from Zashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>
So let us begin with the first time for Helena's house. My family and I live in a house. Our house has six rooms, two bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, living room, and dining room. We cook and eat in the kitchen. We enjoy watching television in the living room. My favorite room is my bedroom. It is where I read books and do my homework. So that was Helena's house. The first two questions that you're going to see are to answer the ones for Helena's house. Number one says, how many rooms does Helena's house have? How many rooms does Helena's house have? Number two says, which room is Helena's favorite? Which room is Helena's favorite? So remember boys and girls, number one and number two are for Helena's house. The second passage is Bud in the Clay Hut. I'm going to leave you to read this one by yourself. And you are going to answer questions three and four after reading them. So remember, you need to read both passages and then you need to answer questions from both passages. And then after that, you need to read for the third time to make sure that your answers are correct. Let's now go to the next page, page 16. On page 16, we are going to be practicing some vocabulary as well as some sight words. Now, remember, vocabulary words are very important because they help to improve our English. Sometimes we don't know the meaning of them, so I will be helping you with some of the meanings for the words. Please repeat after me. House. Rooms. Bathroom. Kitchen. Living room. Dining room. Bedroom. Hut. Well done. So now we're going to explain what each word means. Now a house, we know it because most of us live in some sort of house. And inside the house, we have what we call rooms. These are spaces that are divided by walls. Then in every house, there must be a bathroom. This is where we take our showers or our baths and brush our teeth. Then we have what we call kitchens. Now a kitchen is where the cooking happens for all the foods. That's where we also wash up the dishes when we are done as well. The living room is an entertainment room. This is where the family comes together and watches TV or plays board games. The dining room is a special room that is used for when families sit down together for a meal. It can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And the bedroom is now where people go to sleep. In the bedroom, we usually have a bed so that we can rest easy. Then lastly, the word hut. A hut is a type of house that is made up of clay or wood or straw. So these are our vocabulary words for this week. I would like you to please practice them and try and use them when you're making your sentences for the week. Our sight words are words that we often see and use as well. This week's sight words are, please repeat after me, live, asked, boy, our and enjoy. 
every day. I would also like you to please use your sight words as well so that you can improve your English and make beautiful sentences. Please practice your sight words and your vocabulary words and also please finish up the exercise on the previous page. Have fun boys and girls and I will see you when you're done reading after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our last exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be talking about simple present tense in regular verbs. Now, it's going to be our job to fill in the blanks with the correct form of verb in the simple present tense. Now, before we do that, I would like to talk about the simple present tense. So let's take a look at the board. Now the simple present tense is very easy for verbs if you remember this rule. If you have the words I, you, or they, the verb doesn't change. It does not have anything added to it and it does not have anything taken away from it. But if you have the words she, he, and it as examples, you might have to add an S or an ES to the verb. So if we have our verb, for example, walk. If we have the verb walk, we say, I walk. So if it is I walk, we have shown that the verb does not change. If we're talking about the simple present tense. But if we say, she walk, that does not change make sense. So we need to add either an S or an ES for it to say she walks. Now that we know our simple rule, let's try our exercise. So in our exercise, we're going to be doing number one. Number one says, I da always dash my mother. So, do we say, the first thing we need to do is find our verb. Now, the verbs we have in the box are help, eat, likes, leaves, works, need, live, and need. So, we are going to try and find the correct one for number one. And I think the correct one is help. So let us write the word help, please. And let's read the correct sentence now. It says, I always help my mother. Does that sound correct, boys and girls? Yes, yes it does. Let's do number Three. Number three says, let's read it together. He dash very hard for his examination. He dash very hard for his examination. Now we've already used the word help, so we cannot use it again. So which word is most likely to be used? Very good. Because we have the word he, we have to add something to the verb. So any verb that is normal, we are not going to be using it. But a verb that has an S at the end is most likely our answer. So the verb we are going to use is the verb works. Now if we use it in the sentence, 
It will now read, he works very hard for his examinations. I would like you to please write the word works. The rest of the questions you're going to do by yourselves, please make sure you read the sentence, then try and use different words to fill it in before you write it down. And when you get your correct answer, please write it down and read it again to make sure it is correct. I will see you soon. Please take your time and we'll be back after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope that you managed to finish all your exercises. Remember, if you're not sure about something, you can always ask for help. Make sure though that you end up doing the work by yourself. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and you rub inside, remember, around your hands, very good, in between your fingers, on your wrists and your fingertips. Good job. I wonder though, I have not seen Sashi in a long time. I think he's outside. Sashi? Sashi? <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. My brain is rejuvenized, Ooh. rejuvenated, and filled with information. You know I enjoy but you know this is a time, the sad part of the show that I always hate and mm -hmm. cry about, but I know this a tomorrow. This is where we say goodbye. You know, that really makes me she's sad. I never like goodbyes. <laughs> now she's sad today. It's always me that's always nagging. Her, but Today, I think it's because we're entering a new season, so yeah. now, you know, I'm the sad one. I feel you. But, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the show just as much as we did. You know, come again next time, to which is tomorrow, where we, where we get to learn more exciting new lessons with Teacher Mutsa and more exciting things with Zoe and Zaki and all fun things, all things active here at Active Kids. Yay. So, for myself, Monique Adams and... From me, Jeanette Dilkar. It's a goodbye!